Welcome to another Men and Series. It is the Tobo Sibwezi Kolomo. Today is going to be a very practical class, a very practical, illustrative class. Because of my last week video, mm, um, I have decided um, there was a lot of question or confusion because of Chi and Oyo. I realized from the comment section, I realized that so many of us are confused about Chi and Oyo. So many of us believe that Chi and Oyo are two different phenomenon. I know that so many people who are explaining Odinana, there are so many people out there who are explaining Ibo Odinana system, who are making Chi and Onyowa to look like two different personalities or phenomenon. So, but it is not so. I do not believe so. Um, those of you who are following my class or my teaching here, knows that everything I try to explain needs to appear logical. Eh? The Ibos are very logical people and also very philosophical people. That's why at times some of my teachings, I start with some philosophical sayings of our people. So today I want to show a very um, illustrative system of how we believe, we indeed will believe the world works through, um, through this medium. We will see that Chi and Onyowa are the same concept. It's my considered and authoritative opinion that Chi and Onyowa are the same people or different names for the same concept or the same phenomenon which is chi the concept of chi what people call guardian angel so mystics believe that there are seven planes of existence the seventh plane the sixth plane the fifth plane the fourth plane the third plane the second plane the first plane you can reverse it that's the seventh plane the sixth plane the fifth plane the fourth plane the third plane the second plane the first plane let's assume that this world is the first plane and this is the second plane or let's say that this world is the seventh plane and sixth plane it depends on the order you want to you want to follow but i think in the right order is that this world is the seventh plane of existence that but don't worry about the uh, whether it's seventh or first, the one I'm trying to use, but in this order, is there is a kind of descending order. There is a kind of what descending and ascending order. We move from the highest to the lowest. What matters is that this physical world is the lowest plane of existence. This physical world is the lowest plane of existence, according to the mystics. But in Hebrew cosmology. What we believe, what is very clear, is anamado and anemo. Anamado and anemo. This physical world is what anamado, and we have the underworld, which is known as what anemo, which can be called the seventh plane of existence and the sixth plane of existence. The Hebrew cosmology uh, concentrates more on anemado and anemo. What I will call the sixth plane of existence and the seventh plane of existence. But why I gave this drawing is for us to understand that we who are human existing in this form, in this um, in this physical world, this earth, we are on a very on a descending order, on a descending order from the highest plane. That is what people will say that we are God. Is that God? That spirit, that spark in us that is, is descending. You know, and also prepares its journey to ascend again. So it's a kind of, um, um, should I say, a revolving order. I don't know how it works. Some people believe that based on what you've done, like for example, if you descend in this physical world, that you have a scorecard, if you have an unfinished business, you need to come back. You need to come back on this uh, physical world. To complete once you exist in this physical world and you have an unfinished business or let me say some karmic debt that you need to pay that you have to come back but like i said the Hebrew cosmology takes care of the sixth and the seventh plane of existence the Hebrew cosmology which i am explaining our world view does not um, entail these other forms of existence does not capture it in as much as there is something the Hebrews will say owamu owasa owamu owasa one school of thought believe that they are saying that reincarnation can only happen seven times after the seventh re reincarnation. Like coming and going for seven times. After that, you start ascending back. 
you start ascending, your ascension starts. Oh, I'm all was Now, it's after the seventh, your seventh reincarnation, you stop. You can no longer come back in this physical world to exist. That's one school of thought. Another school of thought can believe that Owamo oh, Wasa can be this seven, because Asa means seven, can be this seven plane of existence that the mystics are talking about. Right? But why I'm going through this is for us to understand first that we, that are human beings that are existing in this world, we have a spirit. And this spirit, in each plane of existence that you are existing, have different, different clothing or padding that is used to exist in every plane of existence. It's not this physical body that you use to it in your sixth plane of existence or fifth plane of existence. Each existence have different body for it. Just like in this physical world, we have different weathers. And in each weather, we have a kind of clothing for it. We have a kind of clothing that will help us to adapt to the atmospheric condition of the moment. Here is an example of what I'm explaining. Let's assume that this is the spirit in form. The spirit, it doesn't really have um, a kind of shape. It's depending on the plane of existence. It starts taking shape based on what is obtainable at that um, level of existence. Like for example, we human beings, we're in this seventh plane of existence, and now model. And this is the clothing, and this is the shape of a model. What we are seeing, what we are using in this existence is the Umadu clothing. That's the human shape of existence. No matter your race, your color, we all, we humans all have the same clothing, the same shape of clothing to exist in this physical world because that's what it takes to be a human in this physical world. So, now, this drawing I've given here is what I will call the psychic body. The one used to exist in the sixth plane of existence. What the Igbo is called Anemo. I have said that the Igbo, in Igbo cosmology, we have two planes of existence. Anemo and Anemo. Anemo and Anemo. Owa and Anemo. The Igbos believe that when you die, you will go back to Anemo. That is the, the plane of existence you are existing before you decided to undertake this journey to this physical world. So call this journey to undertake a physical world reincarnation. Reincarnation means that you have existed either somewhere or here before coming here. That this is not your first time of coming to this world. Is there a possibility that some of us in this world are coming for the first time? Maybe. I do not have an answer to that. But there is a, a strong indication that we are coming back in this, that our existence here that we will, when we die, we will journey back again. That's what reincarnation means. So I'm giving this explanation to form a basis for Chi and Onyowa. Because some people say that, believe that the Onyowa is the reincarnating spirit. And I'm trying to say that the person that is existing, wearing the physical body, is the human being. Is the person that has reincarnated. It's not your ancestor that has reincarnated in you. Is you that is that is existing now, you are the one that is the reincarnated spirit. Like some people will say, ah, this person, this person is the grandfather that has returned. Our great grandfather has returned. If the great grandfather has returned, he is the person right now. He is no longer the great grandfather. This once you reincarnated with another body, you are that person. It's not as if that the physical body that has that is that is existing now, and you have you that is existing, me, Tobe, and I still have my grandfather Okonpo in me. No, you can't have two spirits in one body. You cannot have two spirits in one body. You can't have two spirits in one body. I have made this explanation. Just like this cloth that I'm wearing, two people cannot wear this cloth at the same time. Two people cannot wear these clothes at the same time. The same way this physical body, two people cannot wear it at the same time. So anybody that is existing, uh, wearing this body, is the person. And what matters is that the person is on this physical world now. Whether he's existed before as your great-grandfather, is no longer significant. 
So if that person, the great grandfather, has returned now, like I am now, like I was a great grandfather before, I have returned now. That great grandfather is not my chi. The great grandfather is not my chi because I'm already existing. I don't know whether this thing is clear. The great grandfather is already existing, so he can no longer be chi. The great grandfather can only be chi if he's not in physical existence. So we must know for sure is that our chi is in the underworld. Who is guiding us as our chi in this physical journey that we have taken? Whoever is guiding us in this physical journey that we are undertaking right now, whoever is our chief in this physical journey that we are undertaking right now is in the underworld. So if he's our great grandfather, the person is in the underworld. Once the person returns, once any soul returns to exist in this physical body, whatever he or she was in the previous life is no longer is now material. Because the person is now reincarnating as a new being to exist, either to pay up karmic debt or to undertake a mission to come and correct some certain things within the family or the society. So our chief is in the underworld. And I'm, as I'm saying, why do we now need a chief? Why do a spirit inform me that she? A spirit inform me that she because of experience and density. No matter how adept you are, this physical world, in this, uh, whether in your past life and all that, you need someone to guide you. Someone who has experience and is in the underworld to guide you. I, I always use the example of. Um, a pilot flying a plane, no matter how experienced you are as a pilot, you need someone from the control tower who is trying to have a better information about weather changes to guide you in navigating the airplane. So you need that experience from someone who is in the underworld, who has a better eye view of whatever thing, of what is going on with the, with the plane you are carrying. Or with the atmospheric weather condition of where you are going to. Now, secondly, another reason is density. The spirit in form, which is like a god, whenever it on it wears any clothing, the clothing limits that spirit. Think of a masquerade. Every masquerade, once whoever is undertakes to wear a masquerade. That person needs a kind of guide because it is a clothing. I like to tell the person wash out and all these walls and all that. So this human clothes we are wearing inhibits the spirit wearing the clothes. Like I used to say, no man's spirit can pass through a wall. But once you wear a clothes, you can no longer pass through this wall. That means you are limited, you are dense. So once you come into this world and wear the human clothes to exist in this world, your power as a spirit has been greatly reduced. Your power as a spirit has been greatly reduced. Now, now start adding all the pleasures of life and all those things. They start reducing the power more and more. So that's why you need a, a guy. Or what they call Onyowa. So some people explain Onyowa as only Nolomadowa. They mistake it that only Nolomadowa as the person that has reincarnated to come and exist again. And I'm saying that person that has reincarnated to come and exist again, if you believe is your great grandfather, I'm saying he's now existing now. The person cannot be your she. That great grandfather cannot be your she. That great grandfather has returned either to undertake a mission or to pay his or her karmic debt, uh, his karmic debt. So it's now irrelevant the life he or she lived years before, before coming back again to come and correct whatever thing that made him to reincarnate. So that means that person still has a she that is guiding the person. This thing is very simple. Two spirits cannot inhabit in a body. Know this fact for sure. And we are in this world either to pay our karmic debt to straighten out what we did before we feel that we need to come and correct or to come and make things better 
or even to come and enjoy the life. Because most people come to this world to enjoy life, to enjoy the pleasures of life. Does it mean that in the other world that there is no enjoyment there? There is still enjoyment there. Just like people travel to other countries, believing that they will get a better life. Does it mean that where they left, that there is no enjoyment there? There is still enjoyment there. But maybe they believe they will have more fun wherever they believe they are going to. I want to use a philosophical saying of the Hebrews to explain this again. The Hebrews say that Okoko, Okoko, Koba Mwadu, Ojekulu Mwadu, Mano Okoba, Anaman, Ojekulu Sisi. What does it mean? That if a human being is in a need, he or she goes to his fellow human being. If a human being is in need, he goes to his fellow human being. I'm using this to bring the point of chi. Why do we need the chi? Because the chi is our fellow human being. And we need the chi to guide us through this life. So, you cannot be your own chi. Whoever is existing cannot be your own chi. You cannot be your own own your work. If you are in need, you meet your fellow human. So your chi is your fellow human who have existed, who is in the underworld. And I've said that, look at our name, the underworld. Right? And in this underworld, we have the Indian shield. Each clan have their Indian shield. And this Indian shield is in the father's side or in the mother's side. And it's either from any of this side that you have what you call chi, or only one. Only one mother. So you have undertaken to help this person on a journey, on a physical journey, to exist in this plane of existence, physical plane of existence, or one model. The only difference between your chi and Oyuwa, who is in your name more, is that the chi is no longer in a physical human body because you cannot make a physical human being body to exist in their name more. That's why, if we want to visit the spirit world, either through sleep, your body that is still sleeping. You will be sleeping with the physical body. Why you, with your esoteric body, the psychic body, you undertake that journey into the animal? At times, that is what you see as dreams. So your chi is a human being that does not have a human body, or was a human being that had a human body to exist within the cultural parameters that you are now existing. Now, let me say this. It's not everybody that dies that becomes an Indian chi. It's not anybody that dies that becomes an Indishi. Indishi are those who, when they were living, they were promoting, protecting, projecting the cultural values of that lineage. Who established the lineage? Those who fight to defend the lineage. When they die, they are the ones that end the status of Indishi. And it's within these people, this Indishi, that you have most times that you have chi. Because it's person that have an experience that will be your shit to help you navigate through life. So this thing shouldn't be confusing. So only one mad would she if someone says that only one mad is not the person she I just have one simple question for the person. Where there is the only one existing? Is it inside this physical body that you is already existing in? as in owns you that is living now if you say it's your great grandfather that is your own your where is this great grandfather existing if you say he's in this physical body and i will tell you that this physical body now already have the chi if you want to look at it from that perspective that means, what am I saying in English? Anybody that undertakes you to, um, to take this physical journey, to exist in this physical plane, is already a sojourner. And that sojourner have a guide. See it from that perspective. A sojourner and a guide. The guide is in the other world. The sojourner is the one existing in this physical body. If you say that this sojourner has existed before as a great grandfather, is no longer material. This sojourner will still have a guide that will help you find what live through this life that he has he's sojourning he's walking through so this thing is not that complex i know that some people are making it look complicated with this whole chi and one that there are two different things that one you one my great grandfather is the one right if you say that your great grandfather is your own over it simply means the, the person is your chi it's not that he's the one that that is living now 
At times, some people say that is there is this pet mark my grand great grandfather has, and I have it here. That he has it here, and I have it here. It can simply mean that it's a proof that the person is your chief. So it won't be undeniable. It also means that the person is the one existing now. Even if the person is the one existing now, it, what it further means is that the person still has a chip. There is no difference. Two spirits cannot inhabit in a body. It's not logical. Remember, in another teaching, I've said it like when a woman is pregnant, that the woman is pregnant, that the child that the woman is sewing that clothes for is not in living in the womb already. Every pregnant woman is like a seamstress, a, a teller. At that point that the woman is pregnant, what she's doing is that she's making a cloth for a spirit that is about to come into the world. That's what pregnancy is all about. It's a process of making a cloth. And when does the spirit come to take over the cloth? Immediately they bring out the cloth. If a woman gives to birth, what she done, she actually did was that she give birth to a cloth. That's why they wait for the clothes immediately to be possessed by the spirit that owns it. If the child does not cry, if the child does not cry, it means the spirit has not taken possession of the body. Once the child gives out that first cry, no, 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 it means the spirit has entered. There is a sword, a spark that owns his cloth. The spirit that owns his cloth has taken possession of it. And once the spirit discards the cloth, it means that it means death has occurred, except when during sleep, which is a temporary death. Which is what a temporary death. That's why in the olden days, when someone dies, they leave the person for like three days before they bury the person. Because they believe that one can have a prolonged sleep. It's after three days, the person does not come back. They now satisfy the person death, dead. So a spirit can live in the body for some time, like a whole day, and come back to animate that body. So chi and onyowa are the same. I repeat, chi and onyowa are the same. The spirit that is existing in this animal of the seventh plane of existence is the one inhabiting the body and that she needs a guide because of what experience and density your chi can only be someone who has lived the life that you are coming to live in the culture you are coming to exist maybe if you finish in this particular culture you can go to another culture to exist you need a guide of someone who has lived in that culture maybe in your next life you can decide to be a German you need, a, you need someone who has lived that life. Maybe you are coming for the first time as an evil person. You need someone who is a guide. Who will be your guide in that lineage. That's why even up to now, some people say it carelessly. In my next life, I want to be an only evil. In my next life, I want to be an only person. Some people will say, in my next life, I don't want to be. I don't want to come from this place again. So that's why you need a guide. The guide is someone who has existed in that culture you said you want to be part of again. And the guide will now help you help you to navigate through that lineage, cultural lineage. So your only one is not yourself. Your only one is your chief. If you have any question, let me know. I have shown all these illustration. The sixth plane of existence, animal, the seventh plane of existence, animal. Life is about descending and ascending order. Anybody who is coming into this world is descending. Immediately you are leaving the world, you are ascending into an animal. Because it's a higher plane of existence, the spirit of the underworld, the land of the dead, is a higher level of existence. That's why dead people are more powerful than the living. So we all pray to the dead. Anybody who is praying in this world is praying to the dead. Because anybody is higher than you is your God. I don't want to take it. And if, if you have any question, I will answer in this in the comment section. I want us to understand this teaching. I don't want us to be confused. That's why I've made this a very a master class. Thank you.
thank you for watching this video if you like the video please like subscribe and share i would like to hear from some of you if you have any question please you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other my other social media handles thank you thank you